There's a tune called Christopher Columbus. Now, there are words to this, as, as when I was talking to Kelly tonight, and she said, are you going to sing it? And no, I'm not going to sing it. They are kind of silly words, but nonetheless, they, are fats. they, are, they, they do work. But no, I'm not going to sing this, but this is a tune called Christopher Columbus. <clears throat> what? I should tell you something. <laughs> Before I do this, most of what we've played tonight and most of what we played throughout this festival has been ragtime and very minor, subtle variations on that theme. Out of ragtime grew a lot of different styles, a lot of different piano styles. One of the normal progression, and if you came to Glenn's seminar, you heard him mention it, was a, a, a phenomenon called stride piano, mostly done in the East Coast uh, in New York City. Fats Waller, of course, was, well, James P. Johnson is considered the king of stride, but Fats Waller is probably king A of stride. So this is a stride tune. Now, if you can listen, if you can remember and get it in your head, all the other tunes you've heard tonight that have been rags, this is much more, it, this will be a much more improvised piece. This will be, a, there's more melodic things going on in the left hand, and it swings a little bit more than ragtime does because we use a little different um, different marking in the rhythms. So this is a stride piece versus a ragtime piece. Now mind you, this came out of the same, all the pieces, the, the, the Blue Goose Rag, everything, the Alabama Bound, which was, which, which was a very flourish, a, a very embellished rag, but nonetheless rag, all that grew into this. 